beautiful people. Uh, this is a little morning video and I felt so strongly that uh, let's get out of the sun. Sunlight. Got my little flowers here. So sweet scent scented. So <clears throat> what I want to say is that this morning I could just sense this uh, mm, this this enormous peace and also like the angels <clears throat> were just whispering to me there's always hope never ever give up hope because there's always hope because and why is there always hope uh, well because Because deep within every one of us, God's light shines. No matter how messed up, how terrible our life might be, um, I think there's a problem with that light there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just swap this camera a little bit. morning sun's shining and the light can just make a funny picture yeah so because um, I was feeling really uh, quite worried yesterday and just about my own uh, way of uh, just my own path in life you can you can get to to uh, really doubt uh, what's what are you doing what's right and uh, it's so beautiful that this morning I just sense this like all the angels just whispering all is well and also that to keep reminding ourselves to just really uh, honor ourselves because because uh, I think especially if you're an empath and you really feel you wish to help, uh, we can be very, very hard on ourselves, uh, really beating ourselves up, as saying we're not doing it enough, or we're not doing it well enough, or we're not doing it in the right way. And I think, uh, I mean, if it's true that mankind has been uh, really lost for 10,000 years, something really dramatic has to happen we have to change I mean we can just take a look at the, the earth and what we're doing to the earth uh, let alone look at humanity how sick we all are and how I mean how scary it really is I think that's a very good that's it a very good helper for us to see oh yes that's right if I don't change, how's the world going to change? And uh, I've shared this so many times before, but I've felt uh, I've had this enormous, I've had to have this enormous courage to step away from people, situations, uh, things that I could feel, this is just really not healthy for me, I can't do it. And it's not because those people or situations are bad, because nothing's really bad. It's just a way of, way of being. It's just a way of um, expressing yourself. There is no good and bad. Although you can look at all this pollution that's going on, all our over-consumerism, and uh, the mind will say, this is bad. Well, it's, it's actually not bad. It looks bad, and uh, the consequences are really horrific. But it's it is it is a way of expressing ourselves as humans. It's just very destructive. So, the deeper and deeper we get in, come into this the kingdom of, of love within us, and we really come into our God self. We look at everything with the eyes of God, 
and we can see that there is no such thing as good and bad. It's a way. It's a path. Um, and and what I very much want to just want to share with this video is that you have the choice, and you you're really actually being really really asked to, to take a stand and not just take a stand because that's very sort of standing still but really find your path and your path might be different today than it is tomorrow because it's everything's changing so quickly but just sense that every day you get up in the morning what feels true for me and do it uh, and to really honour yourself in that choice. And although you see people, because of your choice, you're leaving, um, you're stepping away from a, a type of, um, what do you call it, interaction you had that with, with some people maybe, and they feel they're suffering more because of your action, because of what you're doing. And the guilt can be enormous. You feel, why can't I, I keep uh, being there a little bit, interacting a little bit, and being a little bit on my path? Well, you can't. It says in the Bible, there's only one God. You have to choose which God is your God. Is it the God of uh, being messed up and just <laughs> being lost in the world of uh, the outer world? and not connecting to your inner truth and the God within? Or is it to be on this path of being deeply and utterly and 100% truthful to your own uh, spirit, your own inner guidance? You, you, can't, you can't do both. But as I said before, with the people that we love and we wish to have some sort of connection with, you can have little short talks that I'm just saying what I what works for me. You can have these little short talks, uh, and the phone is perfect. And you could maybe even have a little meeting, being together. But as I find it, it has to be very short because, uh, just for your own protection, because uh, until we we really become our master selves, we can be in it all the time. But until then. We're training to, and our, our path, the way we choose to be as humans in this time, going deeply into our own truth and staying there, it's not something you learn in a day, it's something you practice. And the, the inner demons who are saying, now stop being silly, you just fit in and why can't you be as you used to be, and why can't you make them all happy, and that demon uh, is well, our inner demon, and we have to not fight against, but, but uh, feel it's there, and, and really love it, say, tell it, it's, a, it's okay, we, uh, it's really the ego, the ego hates us, returning to our true self because then it, it dies because the ego is made up it doesn't exist it's a it's a made up personality we have come to believe that we are and it's always really lying to us and because we for 10,000 years we've been listening listening to this voice and not to God within we're so used to it and it's really it, it kept captures us and it treats us like a slave. It doesn't wish us to to be a master, to be the master that we truly are. Come return to our master self. It doesn't wish that because then it's <laughs> it has no place. So uh, yeah, I think it's so beautiful how we we can go into these really really difficult situations where we, or and and state of being where we feel, oh my God, what am I doing? What, what, how am I ever going to manage this? And this morning I felt this enormous, beautiful peace. And God really, and all the angels singing to me, all is well, honor yourself. Stay on your path and you are actually helping the earth and the people.
people around you, although it doesn't look like it, you are helping them. Because you're coming into your master self, you are coming into your divine being, and you're guiding them. They will go there too. You're just, you're just going forward, and um, and they will not not follow you, but they will they will go onto that path too one day. Just nobody knows when. So. Uh, yeah, this inner demon is really, really strong. And so, uh, in your daily life, wherever you are, uh, th that's what I feel. I really feel God saying to me to, to really cultivate the peace and to really, really allow myself to be me. Go deeper. Uh, you are allowed to be you. And you're actually being asked from the heavenly realms to be you, because you haven't been you. <coughs> and being you is, is, is coming deep into this love that you are. And it, uh, it just takes a lot of courage to do this. Um, so, so, and to, to, that's what I feel to be to be very to be very clear with the people you're very close to physically. To just keep saying, my path is authenticity and love, and that we each do what is true for us, and that all addiction ends. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing, and I won't stop doing it. No matter how irritating you might feel it is or whatever, this is what I'm doing. And this is, uh, I won't stop doing it. And, and if you feel uncomfortable, that's your uh, uncomfortableness that you have to deal with. It's, uh, I'm not here to repair that, mend that, take it away, I comfort you so it goes away. It's, it's, it's your feeling. And uh, I was just going, having a look at the Ho'oponopono prayer, which is, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I thank you. And um, the man who actually has spread it out, I, I, I'm, 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 now I'm being very frank with you, if he's been using that prayer for a long time, it doesn't seem like it's really, I mean, <laughs> really, really working on a deep level. But the prayer is very powerful. But the idea is that uh, that that person opposite you is really a mirror of something within you. And I've said this many times before. It's true. That person who is lost, who is next to you, and who's desperate, is actually mirroring you. And you can use the prayer to help them move forward. Now I was doing it yesterday. And I might just keep doing it. Um, uh, and it's it's very important when we when we take this this path, we go on this path, and we really do what is true for us. That we see that people around us are mirroring us. So if you have a a brother who's an alcoholic, to see him uh, where he is, love him where he is, and ask yourself where is the addictions. Where are the addictions in me? How is he mirroring me? And and go and ask, uh, am I addicted to some food or? Uh, because he, he, that's what they're doing. They're mirroring us. And if somebody's very lost and looking for love all the time around you, you can go and ask, where's that part of me? How is he mirroring me? Or she mirroring me? Where am I always searching for love, and where do I feel completely lost? And somewhere we do. So, so keep seeing that. Um, but we are, we are one, and we're mirroring each other. But we also our own individual self, and that's what I feel. What we're being really, really asked to do: come into your core, come into your root. 
feel who you are and do what is true for you. Just make sure you don't see someone as your enemy because really they are a part of you. But still, um, yeah, and, and yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's um, just like the, the knife, uh, the, the edge of the knife. It's, it's, it's a very, very, very fine balance, uh, but we must, that's what I feel, we must become deeply anchored in ourselves and let go of the others. Just don't see them as separate from us. They're a part of us. They are mirroring us. But still, they have their learning process and we, we mustn't uh, melt into it because there's so much we ourselves have to deal with. So it's, um, it's just it's not easy. This is not easy. But yeah, I was just guided this morning to just stay anchored in yourself and honor your path. You're doing this out of love because you are love and you're integrate, you are um, you're delving deep into the love that you are and it is expressing itself in your unique way. Nobody on this planet is expressing, is shining their light as you are. It doesn't exist. So although we're all one, all mirroring each other, our, our, the way we shine our light is unique and that uniqueness is really we have not learned over the many thousands of years to love our uniqueness we've been told fit in do as they say get in there stop stop complaining all this and now we're being asked to come into our divine self which is completely unique and very very it's totally special it's, it's completely special and to love that specialness. So the ego hate, has hated that. It hates that. It doesn't want us. And we're not feeling more special than others, but we're feeling special. Our specialness uh, is beautiful. To love to be you. And that's where we leave all um, uh, jealousy and wanting to be like others. When we come into this it's really this deep, deep self-love that this is my specialness, I can feel it. And it's so beautiful. And to love that, com completely come into one with that, uh, then you stop being jealous of anyone because you can feel this is such a beautiful energy that I bring. And I might be a, a window cleaner, I might be a king, it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> it, has no, it has nothing to do with that. So. This is really beautiful. I feel this is being, this is something that's sort of coming to me now. That to, to come into this beautiful specialness that is yours. So um, in the beginning, we need to really protect ourselves and say, "This is where I am," and get stop, <laughs> get off me. And when we're sort of protected and strong enough, we can go deeper, really allowing ourselves to be who we are, and. Uh, yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm just sensing this now. The specialness that we each are is really is our God self, and it's this fine, fine. It's just a sweetness, very, very sweet, fine energy. That is our unique energy. The 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 seed that God put into us, or the the little the little candle He lit when we were we're really one with Him. So we. We're a part of him that sort of came off, and that little God spark is completely unique. So when we really get this around, get our head around this, that I have to, I have to stay anchored in myself. I have, let, have to let the others be on their path, let them go, stop trying to save them and help them and all this stuff, and really realize that I, the more I become anchored in myself the more I'm helping them. And it's just really against the grain of, yeah, my way of being, as it has been before. I wanted to get everyone, save them all. And it's, it's not, it's not, that's what God is saying, leave that, leave, stop that. Because you're not saving anyone that way. You're saving them by becoming deeply anchored in me, he says, come to me. And that's what Jesus was all about. And that's what all the 
the core of all the religions is about coming into this God space and feel this and that's also where the God connection is when you feel the light the specialness of you you're, you're kissing God you're feeling this it's so special so and this is a, a place of it's just so beautiful it's just so sweet it's, it's a place of it's neither giving nor, nor taking it's, it's, it's a place of complete uh, it's pure life it's life springing out and it's uh, yeah so connecting with this to, to be able to go into this fine 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 connection we need we need protect we need to protect ourselves and we do that by saying really with Michael's sword just saying this is where I am I mean all the archangels are helping us some more than others to really s make a a barrier of light around us and say this is where I am this is where my path is and I have to be here because that's why I came to earth so it's so beautiful so um, in the in the practical world in our with our family and with people around us to say this is what is true for me and this is what I'm gonna do and they can shout and scream and do what they like just keep saying it. <laughs> so I think it's really good to explain this is what's right for me and I'm going to do it. It's all about authenticity and love, being who I truly am. And uh, of course this is inspiration for them. So take care my friend and yeah, all my love to you. See you soon.